Welcome, Wargamers, again to another Wargamers Tactica, okay? Now many of you know from the title, now I'm finally moving on to Elites, which also leaves heavy support, don't worry, we'll eventually get there. So, first squad I'd like to talk about today is... Knobs. This is Pinky. This is Pinky the Knob, Pinky the Work. And he was actually painted by a girl. Or it was painted by a girl. Anyways, for those of you Wargamers, short on love, take her on a date, paint some Warhammer. She's got to eventually accept you for who you are, right? I don't know. She's got to own it. Anyways, it was good times. Anyways, orcs are, you know, so revolved around boys and just like numbers and going and just swarming the enemy unit. But knobs take you back a bit. It makes you kind of rethink how, how to play orcs just a bit, just a bit. Because knobs, strength of knobs is you go in, you hit. You hit actually harder than boys, but you don't have near as many boys, so you don't... Boys actually hit harder in the sense that you bring more than they hit. You know, choppa patrapa, knob does better. But anyways, they're just so much more expensive. They're like in between three to four times more expensive. That's before any upgrades, and you want to upgrade them. So more like four or five times more expensive on average. So anyways, your knobs, they, they do get very expensive. You can take them from squads from three to ten. Now there's some isolated cases where you want to take them in squads of three. Mainly it's when you want to spam heavy support choices. And you want that extra battle wagon. And you're like, hey, I want a battle wagon. But my heavy support choices are taken up. So you take three knobs with a battle wagon, then you can add like your custom force field in there, and then so it's not too many points, but then you get your extra battle wagon with a death roll. So you can charge up the board, and then you have your other battle wagons, and then you could eventually you could have eight battle wagons actually with that, which I'm going to try to do. So after I finish converting and building two more battle wagons, I'll borrow Paul's, and you'll see it in action. But anyways, back to back to knobs. Knobs are the most diverse unit in the Orc Codex by the fact that you can just upgrade them and change like their purpose slash... No, they all have the same purpose. You just run up, kill, smash, destroy, maim, and call, cause all sorts of Orky goodness. But if we open up the Codex here... Uh -huh. I thought it would be easier to just read right out of the Codex. You guys know. Ooh, sneak preview. Um, okay, so 3 to 10. Now, you get all the Furious Charge, Mob, uh, Wog, everything, but first of all, you can upgrade them all to Knob Bikers, but we'll get to that later. Knob, almost a must, every time you take Knobs, unless you're taking those like the little three squad just to build up, is a Pain Boy. Now, Pain Boy gives you that wonderful option of when one of your orcs heads falls off and it rolls away the pain boy goes over picks up the head pops sews randomly and somehow the orcs intelligence kind of reacts with his, and he's back back in green and ready to go so you just get, you get feel no pain every time you would die if it's not a power weapon or strength high enough to instant kill you i think it's like strength eight or higher so if it's not AP 2 or 1 or strength 8 or higher, you can use Feel No Pain. And so with knobs also have two wounds, ooh, two wounds, you can, wow, they can survive so much. Go back, watch a couple of Apocalypse games, or games where knobs have been there, they can absorb a lot more fire, usually. Got to be careful though, because if your opponent knows what they're doing, for those of you non-orc watchers watching, this is how you kill knobs. You drop, you hit them repeatedly with, with what I said, strength 8 or higher, or AP 1 or 2. And you just see them fall. Sorry. And they just, because it, they, you can upgrade them, this is another reason you want to take pain boy, you can give them cyborg body. So that's a pretty cheap upgrade, and you want to give to all the knobs almost all the time, because if there's if they are going to get hit by those big things, they're just going to die outright. And so you want Cyber Body to give at least a one-third chance to roll, five plus, 
to see if you can can be saved. And if you are, hey, you save both wounds. Hooray. Good times. Other than that, though, in combat, usually, unless you're combat against, like, power claws, like terminators with power fists, or even lightning claws, just annoying stuff. But in your basic standard combat, you can just wipe, you just wipe the floor with most all, all your units. And you don't even have, need to bring a lot of them. Now, I would recommend at least five. That's including the pain boy. So four knobs and a pain boy can do quite a good damage. Probably want to upgrade to six, though, just to just beef it out a bit more. And then another option is bringing ten. Ten is when you got a bigger game and you just want to run mayhem across the board. And, we, and it's just you can just wail on that knob squad and wail on it, wail on it. And it's not going to die. Unless, of course, you know how. But again, you're not going to be having... See, this is kind of like Catch-22 because for the non-orc players. Because if they bring tons of high-strength, you know, power, they can kill your knob super effectively. But then your boys, they just run rampant. And so people who are experienced with facing orcs usually don't have those big-strength guns. Um, because there's a few of them to kill your tanks or your, your trucks. And your knobs usually can survive more. But again, you have to be very careful with them. You got to be what you are or not going to charge into, because it's uh, they're they're precious. They're knobs that so you don't you don't want to throw them away. But if there's any unit to jump into a fight when you have to get into combat when you really don't want to, you either want a thirty squad of boys or you want a knob squad. Because knob squads are just, they are, I can't emphasize it enough. They're so tough. So, upgrades you can give to them. Okay, we'll talk about knob bikers in a minute. But the entire mob main takes stick bombs. Stick bombs, stick bombs, stick bombs. This is the only time where you might actually legitly want to take stick bombs. This is, these are offensive grenades, so when you attack through cover, you get your normal initiative. And your initiative is normally three, up from two normal orcs, and so now you have a high enough initiative that you might actually get to attack first or at the same time when you're charging through cover. And so all of a sudden you're like, ooh, ooh, maybe I should take stick bombs. But also with knobs, you want them in a truck or a battle wagon. You want them in, because again, pie plates, whatever, they can get shot up semi -easy. And if you're running across the board, they'll be able to see the big scary squad position properly and be able to take them out most likely. So you want them in a truck to fly them across or about a wagon to steadily come up within safety. And when you have a bunch of trucks and you're like, oh, this one has the knobs and all of a sudden you're like, Poof, and you scatter and they're like, they never remember which one's which. Sometimes they do, but you can usually forget that there's that huge threat. So that's awesome. So as a vehicle upgrade, you can actually upgrade them to a stick bomb chucka which basically, the turn they unload and assault, they count as having stick bombs, but it's just one low upgrade for, for a couple points. Now, when you're bringing a small squad of knobs, it's just, it's, plus, it's just one point per knob to get those grenades. So, small squad, might as well just pay for it. If you're going for a bigger squad, give it to the vehicle instead. Because you probably want to be charging out of it. Hopefully not out of the crater that is left. All right, so any knob can replace his choppa, his choppa, his axe, with one of the following, either a big choppa or a power claw. Now, with about a squad of boys, you always, always want power claw. But with a squad of knobs, all of a sudden, all power claws, it's it too expensive, way too expensive. It like doubles the point cost of a knob. So it's like, ugh. So, and a knob in a boy squad is actually cheaper. Actually. One moment. Where'd he go? There he is. Okay. It's kind of interesting how they modeled it. Because with the boy squad, like the, the box, you get this knob. He's all big and tough and he's bigger than the other boys, but he's kind of a weedy knob. He's just like not that big. He's kind of like, yeah, he got stuck with the boys. He got stuck leading the boys. He doesn't get the, he got stuck leading them. Because the real knobs, look at, look at the size difference. He's a real knob. And so he 
they get to you know we go in and smash and they're actually elite guys an elite choice Ooh. so yeah so that's there's a difference there but also reflects in the point cost they cost more because they can do so much more damage when they're combined uh, okay yeah so with a big choppa it unfortunately reduces um, like if you keep just a pistol a big chop is a two-handed weapon so you can't combine it with a pistol to gain another attack. But it gives you plus two strength, which is huge because you're almost wounding everything on twos now. And the bigger stuff, you're still probably wounding on fours uh, or threes, and you're rarely wounding on fives anymore, um, even the bigger stuff. So it's just like fantastic, especially on Furious Charge, you get plus one strength. So big choppas are, I would say, unless you're really strapped for points, Every knob should have a big choppa, unless they have a power claw. And with a squad, you usually want two to three power claws, maybe four if you're going for a big squad at ten. That's all you're ever going to really need because knobs get like what, like four attacks on a charge? That's four to sixteen power claw attacks hitting. It's just wow. You can just annihilate just about anything with that. And so other than that, it's just overkill. And so with big choppas, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have the armor cutting capability, but that high strength, you can still dish out tons of wounds and it costs one fifth the points. So you want to keep your power claws low. Just, just enough so if, if you hit something and, and you'll learn about what your opponents are bringing and stuff. And if you need to bring more power claws, great. Power claws, great. But, if not, then yeah, turn it down. You don't need all power claws. Unless it's Apocalypse, then why not? Just bring them all power claws. You know, hey, let's look at this squad. It costs like 500,000 points. No, you can make a knob squad almost cost 1,000 points, which is ridiculous with, you know, HQs attached to it. But that's when you're getting into bikes. Anyways, okay, so big chopper or power claw, you want both, but ratio should be at least two big choppers for every power claw, I would say. Maybe even three big choppers per power claw. Uh, and you don't have to. I mean, you can leave them out. They're still strong with, with nothing because you can also upgrade them this way. 